गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द क्यू एन ए सेशन एटीन फ्रॉम द प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ लॉज ऑफ मोशन द टॉपिक इज कंस्टेंट मोशन एंड द क्वेश्चन इज रिटर्न ऑन दिस बोर्ड दिस इज द फिगर विच वॉज प्रोवाइडेड अलॉन्ग विद द क्वेश्चन एंड द क्वेश्चन हियर इज फाइंड द एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ द ब्लॉक ऑफ मास एम हियर द पुलिस आर वेरी वेरी लाइट and therefore we are considering those pulleys as massless the pulleys are frictionless now this is the fixed pulley this is a fixed pulley this is a movable pulley both these pulleys are very very light they and they are uh, uh, frictionless the table on which this block uh, of mass m is kept is also frictionless the strings are inextensible this is the string and this string is in is uh, inextensible and massless so these are some of the assumptions which has been taken for solving this question now here this mass uh, this block of mass 2m is moving in the downward direction as indicated by this arrow the acceleration due to gravity has is g so here we have to find the acceleration of this block which is lying on this table now this block is attached to a string as you can see in this figure and it is passing through this fixed frictionless pulley and it is passing over this movable pulley and this is the one end of this string is attached to this rigid support and the other end it is attached to this uh, block of mass m so now since this is a constraint uh, this is an example of the constraint motion so here i will be using the uh, two equations for the constraint motion that is the uh, algebraic sum of the product of the tension in the string and the acceleration of the individual blocks uh, is equal to 0 that is t dot a is equal to 0 and the second equation which i will be using is the net force on each block is equal to m into a so these are the two equations which i will be using in order to solve this uh, this uh, question and here now let us consider the acceleration of this block as a1 and the acceleration of this block uh, of mass 2m as a2 so from this equation for this block let us consider the tension in the string is t and the tension always acts away from the body so the direction of this tension will be as indicated by this arrow for this block the tension will be acting in the direction as given by this arrow because tension always acts away from the body like this so for this block m uh the uh, uh i will be getting the equation that is t if its acceleration is a1 so this will be equal to the uh the tension the total tension for this block is equal to t plus t that is 2t 2t into a2 so so this is the equation which i have got using the equation number 1 that is the algebraic sum of the product of the tension in the string and the acceleration of the individual block is equal to 0 so uh, with the help of this uh, equation i have been able to get this relation and uh, from this uh, relation uh, we can uh, say that a1 is equal to 2 times of a2 so i will be writing this Uh, relation here that is a one is equal to two times of a two. So first I have so I have got this relation that is the acceleration of uh, uh, this uh, block M is equal to two times of uh, of a two. A two is the acceleration of the block having a mass two m. Now the net force on this block. See that this is a frictionless table, so there is no force of friction. 
the only uh, force which is acting on this block is a tension in the string so t will be equal to m into a this is the first equation second in this case this block now if this block is move if this, if this block moves in the downward direction then this block will be moving in the uh, in the direction as indicated by this arrow now if this block is moving in the downward direction it will happen only when the weight of the block is more than the tension in the string so what is the weight of the block this is equal to 2 m into g so uh, the net force will be equal to how much weight minus tension so 2 mg minus 2 t and this will be equal to m into a m is what 2 m into a2 so from here this 2 and 2 and 2 will get cancelled m sorry m will not get cancelled out so 2 and this 2 2 and 2 will get cancelled out so i am getting mg minus t is equal to m a2 okay so this block will move downward only when the weight is more than the uh, total tension uh, which is uh, acting on this block so the net force will be equal to weight minus tension and this will be equal to m into a which is equal to 2m 2m into a2 so now from here you can see from this equation that is t is equal to m a so i will be just m a so this is equal to m a1 sorry because the acceleration of this block is a1 so t mg minus m a1 this is equal to m a2 now i have to find the acceleration of this block of this block of mass m so i will be substituting the value of a2 from this equation since a1 is equal to 2 times a2 so uh, 2 times of a2 so a2 is equal to a1 by 2 so from here i will be just taking this this term on the right hand side of this equation so i will be getting as m a1 upon 2 plus m a1 so from here m m and m will get cancelled out so finally g is equal to uh, a1 upon 2 plus a1 this is equal to 3 a1 divided by 2 so it implies that a1 that is the acceleration of the block having the mass m will be equal to 2 g upon 3 so the acceleration of this block of mass m is equal to 2g upon 3 so in this question we have used two equations uh, regarding uh, which is uh, two equations uh, which are used in the case of constraint motion which is summation t dot a is equal to 0 and f net force acting on the uh, individual block is equal to m into a okay so i hope you have understood the solution of this uh, question and in the next uh, session that is in the session number 19 i will be coming up with a uh, different uh, uh, configuration of this pulley and uh, this uh, uh, means uh, the blocks means uh, here i have taken a configuration which was different from the session number 17 so in the next session uh, the topic will remain the same, but the configuration of this block and these uh, pulley, uh, this block and pulley system will be different. So, till then, have a nice day. Bye.